Hey guys, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. I'm going to a wedding in like 10 minutes. And I really wanted to come on and make this video. I couldn't leave the house without doing it and... I woke up this morning and some people sent me some links to uh, a new Kickstarter that was going on. By a company called Harmony Gold. And it's for a, a brand new Robotech Academy. And I'm here to tell you guys, do not support this Kickstarter at all. Do not support Harmony Gold. Now I'm going to tell you the reason why, is that Harmony Gold brought out Robotech years ago. It, it went to Japan, this is an American company. They went to Japan and they, they got the rights to Macross, uh, Southern Cross, and Muspita. Three different Japanese shows. They combined them all together. They called it Robotech, they redubbed it, added brand new music, added a, a storyline uh, to link them all with this thing called uh, Protoculture and the Robotech Masters and... You know, but I was a kid in 1985 when this aired and it was the greatest thing I had ever seen. I was so happy about Harmony Gold then. Little did I know the injustice they would do for the next, you know, 15, 20 plus years leading up to now. Harmony Gold, when they got the rights to these shows, they got the rights to Macross. And I'm going to talk about Macross here, because it's my favorite anime of all time. They got the rights to Macross. And by doing so, in the last 15 years, they bottlenecked anything Macross coming to the West. So, any new Macross video games, we don't get them. Any new Macross animes, hey, let's bring up one here. Macros Frontier, you ain't gonna get them. Oh, you want Macros Plus on Blu-ray? Right here? You're not gonna get it. I had to import this from Japan. It cost me a sweet penny, I tell you, because I can't go to the store and buy it. Harmony Gold is trying to say that they own all the rights to Macros. See, they bought the rights to Macros in 19, you know, from 1982, that show. But they're saying, oh no, that, that represents all Macros. All Macross forever kind of thing. And the Japanese companies, there I will leave a link down below to the article that explains all the legal stuff because I am not a lawyer, even though I'm dressed like one right now. <laughs> but um, you know, so this company they don't bring out any macrosses themselves, right? They don't bring out any macrosses themselves. They just stop everybody and try to take a piece of the puzzle, take a piece of their money. But we don't get anything. We haven't got any new Macross for 15 years. Wrap your head around that. No new, ma no nothing new. Macross Plus got you know that got released. I think that was like 1993, 94, 95. That got out and they had some arrangement about that. But since then, nothing. Uh, you want to buy Macross on Blu-ray? Can't do it. Want Macross uh, Flashback 2012? You can't get it. Macross Frontier? No way. Macross on uh, Macros Plus on Blu-ray, you're not going to get it because of Harmony Gold. Now, Harmony Gold, I don't know who they think they are. They, they, they translated and brought the rights to some shows back in 85. But now, they're starting a new Kickstarter for Robotech again. Okay? I, I, let me tell you, as a kid growing up in the 80s, I did not... I loved Robotech. But when they started doing Robotech the Sentinels and stuff like this, I did not like it. I'd, I don't know anybody that did. Everybody fell off a lot after that. Anybody who hung out for the Sentinels was a really hardcore, uh, you, know, uh, you know, Robotech fan that were just going to take it from Harmony Gold. I, I, I didn't ever like the Sentinels. I don't want anything more to do that. And I think there was a Robotech that was released years ago, the Dark Chronicles or something like that, and I watched that. That was terrible. You know, it's just like, what made Robotech cool was the original shows. Okay, it wasn't, wasn't their offshoots of the Sentinels or anything like that. That never was good. Let me state that right now. That stuff was never good. Macross, the show from 82, was always fantastic. Unbelievable. Southern Cross, very good. Muspita, fantastic as well. Love Muspita. But, so they're bringing out this new Kickstarter. Okay? Like, for Robotech. We don't want Robotech. Okay? End that. They want half a million dollars. Okay, you can, I could go and make fucking like four or five movies for that. For one, you know, 
Fucking... <sighs> Seriously, stop with the Robotech now, okay? Let it, let the Robotech go. Robotech is years ago, it had its run, and it was fantastic. Bring it over on Blu-ray, stuff like that. We'll support you that way. Don't bring out Robotech, this, you know, more goddamn Robotech and, and, and charge for it, but meanwhile be blocking all the other Macrosses. You know, this is what pisses me off. This is what drives me crazy. Just stay the fuck away. Let Macross come into this country. And I think that's my main message here. This is the thing that pissed me off. I'm like, these fuckers, you know? I, they've stopped me from getting Macross for the last 15 years. Because they own the rights to something they got in 85. You know, and that's, that's what it comes down to. These big corporate companies, man. And this one's a dinosaur. Harmony Gold is a dinosaur, and it's holding on like this, right? And then, and then they're doing, oh yeah, Kickstarter is the new way to make money. So they do that. And I support Kickstarters. I support good Kickstarters. This is a bad Kickstarter. Don't support Harmony Gold. Don't support them bottlenecking Macross for the last bunch of goddamn years. So, anyways, guys, that's my my rant. I'm just so uh, fucking annoyed, and my tie is very tight. It's cutting off the circulation to my brain. I've totally, I've had enough. I just, I was so frustrated to read that this morning, you know? So, I got a wedding to go to. Don't support Harmony Gold and don't support that Kickstarter. It's crap, all right? Anyways, guys, until next time.